hi everyone i just want to share about the biography of uh, sadhu sundar singh which i read recently and really learned uh, many things and was blessed by it uh, it was a book written by phyllis thompson in in tamil i read in tamil and uh, and i will share it in english uh, sadhu sundar singh uh, was born in punjab he is uh, a sikh uh see he he followed sikhism by by birth uh, they are a well respected family well established family in punjab the parents and the, the family members uh, he had a spiritual mother and good siblings you know he got to know about god through his uh, mother so and uh, sadhu sundar singh at the age of 15 you no know, uh, just before 15 his mother died and uh, and also one of his siblings died and he was really frustrated and uh, it really shook him and he was thinking is god really there my mother was seeking god and now she is dead mm. if god really is there why did he allow these deaths and he became kind of lonely because his mother was so much uh, supportive for him he got very frustrated in life and he really had uh, he really thought that there is no meaning to live this life and uh, uh he was studying in a convent school uh, it's a christian school and he he saw christianity as a foreign religion he he has burned bibles bible as well in an incident and uh, uh then one one night he thought oh, this is it i have to really know is god really there so he prayed god i want to know whether you are there if you are really there show to me otherwise i'm going to die the next day morning he prayed in the night he said god by 5 5 am tomorrow i want to know whether you are there if not i'm going to die on the railway tracks uh when the ludhiana express comes okay and he's praying he's praying and uh, he's suddenly sees light in his room uh he thinks that maybe it is uh, the sun has risen he goes outside and he checks and it is still dark it's midnight and he comes back to the room and he sees the light has increased then he sees jesus the even with the wounds the the wounds he had on the cross he has a encounter with jesus and then he he sees okay jesus is the real god and and i believe in i i'm going to believe in him he experienced peace and joy in the presence of jesus and the next day morning he wakes up and he tells his father i i saw jesus uh when i was praying yesterday and uh, i'm going to be a christian so his father thought it's it's just a, he's just a small boy he's 15 years of age he, he must be having some confusion and then later he uh, when he was continuously showing signs that he is going to be a christian like reading bible and and uh, talking about god with some people then his father who is influential and established he went and actually closed uh, make made the school the christian school closed fully and uh, the sadhu sundar singh uh, was told to deny christ and in his home he was like uh troubled and uh, sadhu sundar singh firmly told no like their uh, his father tried many ways he tried sentiment he tried he once even sent him to his uncle's home who was so much rich his uncle showed like many jewels and many precious stones and he he told i will give you all this if you deny christ and sadhu sundar singh told no i can't deny christ i have seen him he is true and uh, he decided to leave the home because he cannot uh, freely study bible and to grow in god and uh, uh, he decided to leave home and uh, at the uh, he was in his home when people were eating in the table he was just because he was considered uh, himself as a christian he was given uh, food in the on the floor and in that time uh, this is in 1900s like 19 not 5 1910 okay it it was uh, 
Christians were like sanitary workers and like low class, considered as low class people in Punjab. So he he told, if you say you are a Christian, I will be treating you as a low class in in his own home. And so while leaving, he had the last food, and you know what? What their own family members portioned the food uh, and gave on the on the floor. He ate on the floor, and uh, he went back to a father whom he knew through the school and to stay with him where he developed uh, poison related health issues and a doctor came and uh, when he heard that it is it is uh, sadhu sundar singh from this family the doctor didn't want to treat him because if uh, he's on the verge of death and he, if he treats him and the boy dies the whole family will be against the doctor he was so terrified he told i will come tomorrow and i will, I will check the boy the doctor thought that uh, in within one day this boy is going to die and without my intervention if he dies no issues from the family the next day the doctor comes and and uh, sadhu sundar singh is well and uh, he was uh, the doctor was really surprised and asked how he got well because sadhu sundar singh said like i i prayed i prayed and god healed me and then the doctor see saw that the the faith is true and started reading bible and he became a christian and uh, so what sadhu sundar singh decided is i will also become a sadhu like many other uh, of the hindu faith with the uh, saffron colored clothes but i will preach christ to people so he was young very young like uh, like a few years from 15 he was he was dressed like a sadhu and he carried a new testament in his hand and and one more one more dress that's all he had a small bag with a new testament and a, a dress and uh, he had a dress on his body that's what he had he he just walks to many villages uh, and he was preaching christ many people uh, in the villages welcomed him but when uh, many times when he uh, Uh, when they heard that uh, about jesus from him they they resisted and uh, they even sent him back mm, but most of the people were like amazed to see someone young as a sadhu and uh, well kept and clean because usually sadhus are old and uh, because they don't uh, uh, take bath regularly or they are usually unclean but they were uh, really amazed to see someone young and uh, clean and some people accepted uh, christ new christ through him and he usually because of the acceptance of sadhus among people in that state and in those areas in mostly many indian villages he he used that way uh, to preach christ and uh, you know he he has traveled almost all many states in india Uh, most of the nearby states just by walk he walks like 10 days 20 days uh uh just depending on people on the way for food uh people in the villages for food uh like fully trusting god and he had a special desire for tibet and the himalayan region he always looks from hills of punjab to the to the himalayan and tibetan region he wanted to go there and many times he went to tibet and uh, tibet is a place where uh, they are a strong community they had a really community one one believe as a community and it was not easy to uh, preach christ there it was also considered a state offense against the against the king or against the ruler when someone comes with a different teaching or a religion and he was uh, he was preaching christ there and some uh, some people brought him to the king and uh, once it happened that uh, he will uh, people there uh, don't want to directly kill people that's their uh, principle to avoid sin so they kill people indirectly who have high offenses so uh, one method is to stitch them with a a, a, a new yak uh, yak is kind of a tibetan cow you can say tibetan cow or a bull so yak uh, it has a strong skin you know and so peep, the peep uh, they will stitch with a yak skin 
on the people fresh yak yak skin and on sun when it dries it it uh, com it compresses and uh, people and people will be just left on the sun for days and they will die of food hunger and this pressure and second way they do is they they will put the people on a on a well which doesn't have water and it is deep and without food and water and in darkness they die in few days so sadhu sundar singh was put in a well and he was there for like two days uh, there were bodies around him dead bodies who were previously which were previously put and have died like very stenching smell decomposing bodies he was around uh, decomposing flesh and bones and he was really hungry and very tired uh, of course in, in two days without water and food on the on the second day or the third day okay exactly uh, uh, he's getting the the door of that well is being opened and a, a a rope strong rope comes in he's called up and he catches the rope with full whatever amount of energy he has and he comes up and he really wanted to thank the one who lifted him up and he sees no one he says that like god sent him an angel to to rescue him and normally the the door of the well is locked and the lock is with the king and uh, he started he after he came out he started preaching christ again and people brought him again to the king and the king told who who stole the the key someone has stolen the key of the well and has released him out and when he saw checked the keys it it was with him and only then he realized that he's like he has some relationship with god and i should not uh i should not interfere he just told you you leave the country i don't want to do anything to you just leave the country uh but still he went to tibet after some years uh like regarding encounter with angels he shares some things in the book i just want to say maybe one or two things once he was in a village very hungry the people were like uh, resistant to the message and uh, he was not getting any food and he was under a tree he he was sleeping it was like midnight maybe 12 or 1 and uh, he was woken up by two people and uh, he thought maybe the some few people have changed their minds and uh, the, these two people gave him some food because he was not he has not eaten maybe the whole day or for last two days he was given food and he uh, without even speaking he ate and completed the whole food after eating then he wanted to thank these people and and saw no one he, they were just near the, him uh, until he was eating once he finished eating uh because he was so hungry he was just focusing on the food he went once he finished eating he saw no one there and once it happened that he there was a he was going like he goes on hills and mountains while he is uh, he is going by foot to different villages so once there was a big river and the river current was so much that he it was like difficult to cross uh and he was also little tired by days of uh, walking by foot he was thinking how can i cross the river suddenly he sees someone on the other side of the river uh with uh, like it was a little cold also he he had some flames like wood, wood wood and flames and he was trying to get more warm and he calls sadhu sundar singh hey uh yeah the river is uh, very difficult to cross i will help you so he comes it is like uh, chest level of water he that guy comes from the other side he takes sadhu sundar singh on his shoulders and crosses the river and leaves him down and sadhu sundar singh he turns back to thank him and there is no one he basically says like god it, they are all he considers they are all angels god sent angels in form of men to to help him at times where people uh, there were no there was no one to help and he thanks god and i see i uh, i see sadhu sundar singh like he went to different states of india he been to he has been to south in chennai andhra in maharashtra in uh, like kolkata and many many other states in india and he also went overseas like us european countries australia uh, many places god brought him to many places he 
he never thought like he will go to different countries and different states he just had he just uh, had a strong relationship with god he went he followed god he wanted to preach christ and god brought him to various places in, in 1910 1920 okay and many people many people received christ through him many like uh, his life his presence spoke a lot about christ he had uh, many people saw the nature of christ in him and uh, even when he when when he went to other places uh, he wore the same dress as he as he wore a sadhu dress in india and uh, Mm, many people were struck by the anointing and uh, the presence of god in his life and he was the uh, first indian uh, christian who was like kind of uh, uh, very well known globally uh, for preaching christ and when i was reading this book i was really inspired i was really blessed like uh, someone who who is fully surrendered to god's will who wants to preach christ and followed him has a great relationship with him can be used uh, so much by god uh, of course he had great hardships many many issues but but uh, god was there for him an amazing testimony amazing life i encourage you also to read it could be online or it, you can buy a book and uh, you can read sadhu sundar singh's testimony and it will definitely encourage you god bless you amen